Most of you know me from the song Always Be A Fan. I've gotten a lot of questions in my comment section since then, so today I'm going to be answering them all right here. All right, let's get started. How long did it take you to finish the whole song? It took me a few hours to write the first verse, the pre-chorus and the chorus, and then a couple hours to work on it with my producer. And then I posted the song the next morning and I didn't write the second verse until the next evening. So altogether, it probably took around five or six hours total to make the whole song. Has Selena heard your songs? I am not sure. Has Selena Gomez reached out to you about the song? No, she has not. Did Haley or Justin reach out about the song? No. When did you start having a passion for music? I've always loved music since I was little. When I was three, I had my favorite albums and I would always play them over and over and over. I started playing the piano when I was around eight years old. I took some lessons and I ended up just playing by ear and writing songs by myself in my room. So I've always known that I've really loved this. I just never knew that I could pursue it until a few years ago. What inspires you to do music? What inspires me the most is just to create songs that make you feel. I love writing songs that can make the listener feel what you were feeling in the moment when you wrote it and I always want to make people feel seen and heard through my music. I have a lot of songs with deeper meanings that I'm looking forward to you guys hearing. Did you get hate for always be a fan? Of course I got hate for always be a fan. So many people were telling me that I was being a bully, that I was pitting women against each other because I had the lyric in the song that says that I can make my name without a man. I was getting hate comments saying that I can't make my name without Haley. So yeah I definitely got hate but I would say a majority Majority of the response about the song was really positive so I'm very grateful for that. What do you use to make your music or songs? You're looking at it. I use Ableton. This is my MIDI. I use an Apollo Twin interface and the mic that I've been using lately is this Slate digital mic. When will the song pinned on your account be released? This is a TikTok comment about my song called It's Not About You. It's not about you. This song is going to come out as soon as I feel it should come out. So in the next couple months. Did you actually shave your eyebrows in the music video? No, I did not actually shave my eyebrows. My makeup artist Sonia put layers of Elmer's glue and powder over my eyebrows until it looked like I had no eyebrows. And then she glued on fake eyebrows. So basically like little mini eyebrow wigs. And afterwards, the director of the video, Brendan, did some special effects to smooth it out and really make it look real. Who is your favorite music artist, both female and male. This is a really hard one. For male, it's a toss up between Tame Impala and Drake. I know, very different, but those are my faves. And female, I would say Julia Michaels for sure. Do you produce your songs? I do a small amount of co-production and I do some executive production, but most of the production is done by my producer, Jamie. Where did you live and where are your roots? Did they affect your music taste? Currently, I live in Los Angeles. I'm originally from Philly, and I'm not sure if that has affected my music taste. I think ultimately Ultimately, my music taste was shaped by my parents when I was really little and then it developed as I got older and I was able to choose what I was listening to. So I'm not sure if Philly affected it at all. I don't think so. This is a funny question. Can you share your childhood funny habits? There was this thing I always used to do when I was little and there's all these videos of me doing it. I remember being little thinking I was so cool for doing this and then when I watched the videos back, I'm like, what was I doing? But I would do this thing where you like grab air bubbles in your mouth and then I don't know, I would always do that. I don't know why I thought that was cool when I was little, but I do not do that anymore. <laughs> What kind of song will you release next? I'm so excited. The next song I release is not gonna be as catty as the last two songs I put out. I'm gonna show a different side of me than Always Be A Fan and Either Way. It's funny because Always Be A Fan and Either Way are not my typical sound, but that's what most people are hearing from me because that's when I gained a lot of my audience. So it's gonna be fun to release songs that really speak to me now that I have this audience. What tips would you give to someone that wants to be a singer? If you wanna be a singer, you just need to be doing it every single day. You need to make sure you prioritize practicing, prioritize songwriting if that's important to you, and you need to be collaborating with people. It's so accessible now to become a singer, so I would say get some cheap gear to use at home and just get started. When is the new music video coming out? Curious to see the computers getting smashed. Oh my gosh, I love that you asked this. The music video is coming out very soon. I'm gonna announce it on my Instagram. What's your favorite color? For the longest time, I always said periwinkle was my favorite color, and it definitely used to be. A few months 
months ago, I realized that everything I was buying was green and I noticed that my new favorite color is green. So green. What song was the most fun for you to write? This is a really hard question because different types of songs are fun to write for different reasons. The song I have out called Over Overthinking was a favorite of mine to write because it allowed me to be really introspective and my favorite songs to write are the ones that are kind of like journal entries. And another song where I do something similar is in my song, It's Not About You, that's not out yet. Hi, I'm a singer songwriter and sometimes when I write songs, I really dislike them even though other people like them because I feel the need to constantly edit them. Do you ever feel that way about your songs? Yes, I do. And I would say you need to find the happy medium between working on your craft and perfecting some things and going too over the top and just questioning your art. I definitely do that too and it's a challenge for me, but I think that over the years, I've just learned to know when to stop and to be finished with something. If you had to pick one genre to represent you, which one would it be? I don't know. No, that's my answer. I'm kidding. My answer would probably be pop music because that's really general. But I always say that what represents me the most is a mixture between pop, indie, psychedelic, and electronic. What inspired you to be a songwriter and did you want to be a singer when you were little? I always wanted to be a singer, but I was too shy to do it in front of people. So I would always play the piano and sing in private. Will you release more songs? Yes! Of course I will. I put out a song after Always Be A Fan called Either Way, which you should check out if you haven't already. And I'm going to be releasing so many more songs after that. I'm really excited for you guys to hear the other kinds of songs that I've written. How many songs have you written in your lifetime? I'm not sure of the exact number, but I would guess anywhere between 200 and 300. Okay, this is the last question. What's one thing you want Always Be A Fan to be remembered for? I want the song to be remembered for my writing skills and what it really turned into in the end, which is what anyone can relate to and that's having bullies and speaking out against them. Thank you so much to everyone that took the time to ask a question. If you have any more questions, put them in the comments and I'll respond to your comment. Love you.